So I have the sand texture applied to this plane. I have a displacement map. I also use some sculpting tools just to kind of deform it a little bit just so it feels a little more natural. Nothing too crazy. We've got some sand, right? There's two things that will help sell this idea, and that would be under your render settings, Arnold Renderer, go to Environment, and then Atmosphere, press the checker box, AI Atmosphere Volume. Click that. I like a low value of 0.1, and let's drop in a spotlight just so you can see what it's doing. And then let's change that intensity to 500. Okay, so we can see what the spotlight is doing. The environment, if we were to come back here and press that arrow, this is what it looks like when it's off, right? You can't see any of the light rays. This is volumetric lighting. This is why we have this uh, atmosphere volume in here. So if you have a value of one, that's way too much. But like I said, I like 0.1. The reason I have it blue is just so it kind of helps sell some of that underwaterness. So one thing we can do with the spotlight is change the cone angle. So let's spread that out a little bit more. And we can pull this up just a little bit. The next thing that kind of sells this illusion would be in your spotlight. So with your spotlight selected, you're going to scroll down until you see Arnold, expand that and just scroll all the way down to see this box. This is light filters, press add, and we're going to use a gobo, press add. Once that's in there, double click gobo, and we are going to throw an image into here. So this will work with any image, but the image that I have found looks like i looked up like water ripples or water ripple texture or something like that it doesn't really matter i desaturated it because the color will go with it uh, but i didn't want the color so in photoshop i just kind of desaturated the colors and we're going to plug that in right now as soon as we plug that in you can see the awesome results instead of being just a solid cone with the light rays you know the light is only coming through on where those ripples are. So it's giving the illusion that the light is hitting the surface at the top, scattering and then kind of, you know, bouncing through, refracting through the water. Since that gobo kind of changed the overall lighting, I am going to change that maybe to 800. Go position my camera and then, you know, lots of things you can tweak. You can tweak the gobo, you can tweak the intensity. Um, if you need more than one of these, don't just redo that whole thing. Don't press Control D. Control D will not take the gobo with it. So you can just press Control C, Control V. That will take the gobo with it. You know, if you needed a couple more of these off in the distance or... Hey, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out my course, Noob to Ninja in Maya, where I'll get you up to speed with modeling, lighting, materials, and rendering. Check it out in the description below.